This is insane. I think that's a coach purse. Oh my gosh. My Ulta dumpster and I hear them right behind the door. So I'm gonna try to be super quiet. But I found this bag and it looks like it's full of a ton of drunk elephant skincare. I'm just gonna grab this bag out. I'm gonna double check before they come out to see if there's anything else, but it's super full. Okay, put some gloves on and I found a random palette. It was just sitting in the dumpster. They didn't destroy it. And then there's also a little mystery bag here. And then there's a huge one right here. I'm gonna have to just go through this here because it's way too heavy and messy. So I'm gonna take these two and check this one out. Oh my gosh, I opened this first bag up and there's a Chanel perfume. There's still a ton left. Hopefully there's more in here. And I found another one. This one is almost empty, but there's still some left. I found another palette and it was just loose in the dumpster. They did not destroy it. Okay, I'm starting to go through this bag and this whole thing is full of drunk elephant. There's like even stuff in the boxes, but it looks like they might have thrown like the whole skincare line away. That one is full too. So I'm just gonna pick out the good stuff and let's see what's in here. Here's a quick overview of everything I found and then the palettes. I found two Chanel perfumes and they both still have some perfume left. Here are the two makeup palettes that they did not destroy. They're a little bit messy, but can be cleaned up pretty easy. I'm opening up the two boxes that felt heavy and they look like they're new. I have no idea how this one works, but looks brand new and this one looks brand new as well i think that's a moisturizer and this jelly cleanser is literally still sealed so i'm checking my five below dumpster and there's a pretty big bag here i kind of ripped into it but it looks like it has some really good stuff i'm gonna open it up a little bit but let's see what's inside so i ripped the bag open just to check it out it looks like there's some really cute things in here it doesn't look like they destroyed anything so i'm just gonna grab the whole bag out there's a couple of cute cups in here let's see what oh that might have a stain let's see what we can find i have the bag now and it's daytime so i'm gonna start going through it but it looks like there's a ton of stuff in here I already see oh is that broken that looks like a really nice little organizer I'm just gonna start pulling some stuff out, but it doesn't look like they destroyed it. Didn't pull it out of the boxes. Looks like it's gonna be really good. It's a really heavy bag, so I have a feeling there's some good stuff in here. I'm already seeing some really cute stuff in here. There's some cups, there's a huge Bluetooth speaker, and it's inside. I'll have to test it to see if it works. And then this, I think it's a pot, and that is so cute. It has little feet and legs. There's also a bag in here that's full of empty packages. I think it's just a bunch of stuff that people just stole. And here's everything I found. There's a ton of random stuff. There's like a dog toy, a couple of kids toys here. That one, that's like a police car. I also found some really cool headphones. And then the cup I showed you. There's like three different beanies. I think it was a set, but there's nothing wrong with those. This guy, which I think he has a broken foot, which I can still use him. And then a couple electronics and this little elephant, which does have a little stain on it, but hopefully I can wash it and it'll come out. I'm checking my Bath and Body Works now and I see a ton of stuff. Looks like a bunch of bags, which might have like broken candles in. So I'm gonna grab those out, but there's also this box, which looks like it has a ton of lotions and products in here. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's a soap holder. That is really cute. I'm gonna grab that box out and then I'm gonna pull these out. But oh yeah, definitely some broken candles. I'm checking the other side and there's a few more bags. I think two more over here. So I'm just gonna get what I have. I'm already starting little pile here but we look at all of these bags and everything in that box that's insane there's so many candles it looks like some of them might be cracked but they can be put into new jars or melted down and then there's all of these here so i'm gonna take them with me and go through them i'm going through all the bags now and this first bag looks like it has a broken mini candle and a broken three-wick candle 
This bag is just a, another broken mini candle. The next bag has a candle. It doesn't look like it's broken at all and it's brand new. So that one is definitely a score. And then these last bags looks like these are all some broken candles. There's two of these pistachio toasted vanillas and they smell amazing. And then there's one, another broken candle. This is the Thousand Wishes. And then over here, I have the box full of, looks like a bunch of lotion and body washes. Doesn't look like they destroyed them, which they didn't dump them out, which is good. They just put some Sharpie on them, but there's a ton of stuff there. There's also this little hair clay, which I've never seen before. This is a lightly burnt candle, but it's not broken. And then the last thing in here is this little foaming soap holder, which is so pretty and it's not broken. So it was definitely a really good score at Bath & Body Works today. All of these broken candles can be melted down or they can just be popped out the glass and put into a new jar. And then of course all of the lotions. So I'm definitely gonna keep hitting it, but let me know in the comments if you like to see me dumpster dive at Bath & Body Works. Hey guys, really quick before we move on to our next spot, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Earth Breeze. If you're anything like me, you would agree laundry is the worst, especially when it comes to dealing with laundry detergent, having to measure it out, it's always spilling all over the place. But thankfully, this year is going to be different. This is where Earth Breeze comes in with their game-changing eco sheets. Earth Breeze looks just like a dryer sheet, but it's actually an ultra concentrated laundry detergent. So that means now we don't have to deal with liquid, powder, or capsule detergents. I just bought this shirt yesterday and my dog jumped on me. It's been raining, so it's super muddy outside. All you have to do is throw a sheet in your laundry and it's going to dissolve in any wash cycle, hot or cold. Earth Breeze fights everyday stains and odors, giving you an amazing clean every time. And it came out... As good as new, I am so impressed, and not to mention, it smells amazing. You'll never run out of laundry detergent again, thanks to Earth Breeze's flexible subscription plan, and you save a whopping 40% when you subscribe, and the shipping is always free. Switching to Earth Breeze won't only make laundry day easier for you, but also easier on the planet. Earth Breeze has planted over 150,000 trees, and not to mention, with their unique, eco-friendly packaging, it has made plastic jugs a thing of the past. And if Earth Breeze doesn't end up being your 2024 laundry game changer, you don't even have to return it, you just let them know, and you can get a full refund, no questions asked. So if you're ready to achieve your laundry goals this year, go to earthbreeze.com glamour to get started on your 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash glamour for 40% off your subscription. And thank you again to Earth Breeze for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Hey guys, I'm checking my TJ Maxx dumpster and I ripped into this bag and right on top there's a coach purse here. I haven't checked it out, but there's also some shoes. It looks like some random stuff. This might be, it looks like a mini backpack. And then there's more stuff underneath all that. And then on the side of it, there's some stuff just kind of laying out. Looks like everything is still in the boxes. So I'm gonna check that out. There might be some more bags on the other side. So I'm gonna start grabbing this bag out. These are so cute and they're both in the boxes. I can feel them. There's another bag on this side and it looks like it's full of like makeup, skincare stuff. Looks like everything is still in the boxes. There's some shampoo and conditioners in here as well. This bag is ripping and it's so heavy. The bag just completely broke. I'm gonna have to grab a box and just put it in, but look at all of this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then it looks like there's a few more things here. There's a, a shirt and then a little jewelry thing. Okay, I'm going through the bag now and here's that coach purse I saw. It retailed for $600. I don't see anything wrong with it just looking, but I'll take a better look just to make sure. And then there's also a, looks like a pair of shoes. Don't see anything wrong with those either. This is so cute. It's a little tumbler. There's also a little kid's Nike hoodie. This is a cologne or a perfume. I think it's a cologne. Here's the mini backpack I saw. It looks like it got some highlighter, some makeup on it, which I'm sure will come off. It says incorrect price and it still has the security tags on it that one retailed for 150 dollars 
this bag is literally loaded there is a michael kors belt here and then there is a mini cheese straightener looks like it's still in the box there's also a pair of earrings looks like it's missing a pair or a set of earrings but it's missing a pair and then there's some random stuff and some clothing in here and here's everything i got as far as like makeup and skincare there's some shampoos in here as well but it's just a bunch of stuff it's a little bit messy so i'm gonna clean it up but it looks like everything is still in the box here here's an overview this is most of the stuff the belt the straightener the purses in the bag these are in the box so i'm gonna test them see if they work but this was definitely a really crazy tj maxx haul gotten lucky at this location a few times so i'll keep checking it I